we gather now for a reading from the Gospel of Crazy Cat by George Harriman, with your hosts, cartoonists Merrick Bennett and the Reverend Kurt Schaefert, conversing in it the 100-year-old comical artwork of George Harriman. All right, Reverend Kurt, you want to take a look at today's uh, Crazy Cat strip? Yeah, uh, April 29th. 1920. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, So Crazy says... He's got a great secret among his mind. <laughs> How do you know it's a secret? He told me it himself. Is that so? Well, tell me what it is and I'll tell you if it's really a secret or not. <laughs> you can just see the little wheels turning in Ignat's mind. He'll, he'll get that secret. <laughs> well, ain't it a secret? I should say not. By definition, you just told me it's not a secret anymore. Gosh, he told me it was. And there's Ignatz <laughs> bending to pick up. What is that, a box of chocolates? No. If you know Ignatz's character, you know that he's bending to pick up a brick. And what does Ignatz do at the end of most, if not every strip? He means crazy in the head with the brick. So what you made me think of here, Kurt, is just the way that Harriman's using pacing in the strip. It's really one huge pan with two smaller panels set in it. I'm very aware of like the musical rhythm in Harriman's panels where it's oompa, mm-hmm. oompa, oom. And then there's an implied <laughs> fifth panel, right? Yeah, yeah. He, at the very end, he's picking up a brick and you're like, oh, I know what's, he doesn't have to draw that fifth panel, right? Uh, you go yeah. on and do it. I mean, as proof, you look at the next day's strip and what happens at the end of it, zing, bleep. You look at the next day's strip, Zap, bonk, <laughs> right? So he did draw it a lot, but in this one, he just said, eh, you got it. Wow. So what does this what does this tell us about the human condition? That's crazy to say. <laughs> oh, my little angel. Well, I think it's interesting, you know, just we, we get this passing character, right? That he's got a great secret among his mind. Uh, you know, it's like crazy is kind of empathetic sort of, or at least wants to be, you know? And so Crazy's character is one of projection, you know, like constantly projecting that Ignatz can only do beautiful things. Uh, Hmm. And so then you got Crazy projecting onto this hound dog with the hat. Uh, But then, you know, this revelation in the inset, he told me it himself. I love the inset. The insets kind of feel like zooming in a little bit. Well, he told it. He he told me it himself. Just love the language. It's interesting. Kind of thinking. Oh, uh, the hound dog told crazy something. Is that you know? Is that real? Is that not real? And then, you know, the buzz, buzz, buzz. I mean, I I, I have great affection for like whispering in the ears. When I was a little kid, I used to say to my brothers and my dad. I've got a secret for you. And they'd go, oh yeah, what it is? And I'd go into their ear and go, and that was the secret, right? There was, that yeah. was it. It was just the sound. Um, so when I say that, like, well, is Crazy actually saying anything besides buzz, 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 right? Yeah, I should say not, you know, which is just an interesting little play on Ignatz kind of poetic because you should say not a secret (laughs) right like it could mean that's not a secret or it could be I'm not going to tell you if it's a secret or not and then this crazy saying oh gosh you know kind of crestfallen of like he told me it was so yeah it lifts up for me the question of uh, what is a secret hmm um and who do I trust with a secret? Uh, what are appropriate boundaries? You know, um, you know, the heartbreaking part about crazy is crazy trusts Ignatz, like in uh, it, it, spousal confidentiality. Crazy's projection is, oh, my dear Ignatz, I, I share everything with you. And... <laughs> You know, and just believing that Ignatz is beneficent. And uh, I mean, it it stirs in me uh, empathy for crazy uh, 
because I know those times in my life where I've trusted somebody with something that was intimate and then realize, oh, I they're picking I up a brick. <laughs> yeah, they're going to hit me with it, you know? Crazy is mm -hmm. not aware of that. Crazy just thinks it's going to be a nice response. But um, yeah, it, it helps me just off the bat, really, in a fast reading. What is a secret? Who do I trust? I think you're onto something. I don't think crazy is actually sharing a secret here. I think you're right. <laughs> crazy is just that all the dog told crazy was buzz, 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 and crazy's just passing that on, thinking, oh, it, it's a secret. And, yeah. and, and that's at the heart of this strip, the nothing. Yeah, that, right. And Harriman yeah. knows it's not about the secret, it's about the relationships around yes. that secret. Yeah, and, yeah. And that's, I keep coming back to the rhythm where first panel you have the sense of the confidence between the dog and crazy opening crazy turns to ignats and they come together like physically come together yeah. in this intimate right. sharing of a secret and as they part ways yeah. and go in different directions here you're like okay dog and crazy came together parted crazy came to ignats came together parted and as they part you only you know that ignats is about to bring it right back together again with the break, right? and that emotional impact you figure out and that's implied stopping by the woods on a snowy evening uh, mm -hmm. there's a description of the forest as lovely dark and deep and there's a quality that's a nice i've been playing with those words uh, it seems appropriate for crazy or the strip you know is like there's a real dark there's a there's shadows and light huh. and um i think that holding that in balance playfully you know my experience like the people that i whispered into their ears sweet nothings it's really mm -hmm. intimate mm -hmm. it's making me think that's really what a, a daily newspaper cartoonist does like yeah they're just saying like okay you're gonna read my strip i'm gonna lean in close to the paper and buzz 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 make a little noise yeah. in that that idea that you'll see my hand-drawn stick figures and read the words and just feel a point of connection of somebody whispering in your ear. Well, and think, think about the frame too. You know, my experience of first encountering comics, not being able to read, and my dad reading mm -hmm. it over my shoulder and me literally hearing buzz, buzz, buzz in my ear. I just lived for that, you know? Didn't matter what he was saying. <laughs> Right. Whew. I feel worn out and satiated. And uh, yeah. Thank you, Merrick. All right. Thank you. See you later. See you later. Crazy Wednesday. <laughs>